my frog like uh, my frog like face there. I'm just hitting the reset button. Um, so yeah, this year is the year we really start to take care of ourselves. Um, there's an ayahuasca again. The ayahuasca word again. Uh, there's an ayahuasca ceremony uh, in the mountains of Peru. Iquitos seems to be the mecca of uh, because it's uh, accessible by uh, it's accessible by um, by most of the Westerners. Unless you really want to go deep into the woods, like really deep into the woods, from what I hear. In this case, uh, this is this is this, this retreats in the mountains, so that's really good. Uh, in this case, they have cambo. A part of their, their treatment process is cambo uh, tr tr tree frog um, uh, detox. Uh, we'd like to try that. <coughs> As you can see, I'm coughing up cow. I'm coughing up slime, so it's years and years of poor diet, poor years and years of poor exercise, years and years of poor negative thinking. You know, the shamans of uh, the Shabito shamans uh, that, that, that administer it. Uh, I lost believe that. Everything you cough out, pee out, poop out, and throw up out, throw up out, puke out, uh, is a negative concentrated evil energies. Uh, and like I said, if you drink too much booze, demon, demon, t demonic booze, booze, I don't drink booze at all. If you drink booze, that's okay. I mean, I drank booze when I was younger, but I don't drink it anymore. Makes you throw up too much, uh, makes you have shitty, turns me into a zombie in the morning. Uh, like I've mentioned, uh, <coughs> it just cleans out the lymphatic, lymphatic nodes. The ancient Chinese, ancient Egyptians, Egyptians, ancient everybody's have figured out that if there's too much slime in the blood, too much slime in the body, too much slime in the organ, organic uh, cavities, uh, that's your stomach or your guts or whatever, uh, your body doesn't work right, your mind doesn't work right. So in this case, we know that it's there's too much fat on top of my on top of my organs. So we need to burn this shit off. And, um, like I said, I'm going I'm going running. Uh, I, it's not exactly running per se because it's running for what I can do. I I intend to you know I always want to expand. And um, once when, once you burn the shit off, when, <laughs> I should start feeling more brighter and lighter by that only. And uh, who knows? This combo might clear it up. Clear it up for good. Uh, ayahuasca, I know, will clean it up for good. And I know Ibogen will clean up my brain for good. Uh, I pass my, I pass those exciting, exceedingly good college, good grades, and I head down to the University of Leverage to finish up my education there. And I become a real Jedi, not a Jedi master, but a Jedi, a Jedi, uh, with a diploma degree. And then I use that degree to help innocent people. And, and particularly the inmates, um, everyone's forgotten about them, homeless and inmates. It's a, it's a dream of mine. <coughs> I know this may seem <coughs> atypical because I'm a cyber bully. And remember, my cyber bully, my, my cyber bully um, gaming, this gaming, is, is the persona that's gaming. In reality, I'm not like that at all. In reality, I'm very serious, very uh, committed, very um, professional. Unfortunately, all my uh, all my job references don't see that. They only see someone who's clumsy and stuff. So I don't know. Maybe ayahuasca will completely rewire my personality chip and install a new chip that works. Everyone else I find in life has a good has the right parts. Uh, I have the defect ones. I don't know why why that came to be. I don't know what the hell gods were thinking when they did that. Gods must be crazy kind of thing. And. But I think I did okay with what I had. I mean, I'm not a thief, I'm not a rapist or a criminal or something, some violent felon. Uh, although I'd like to be, but in, perhaps in my lifetime, be a total highwayman slash, a total highwayman slash uh, revolutionary. Okay. I go down to South America and I figure out that's what it's supposed to be. Okay, so, um, Cambria, you go in, talk more about that, talk more about uh, ayahuasca. Uh, nothing much to talk about. Um, <clears throat> nothing really much more to talk about. I mean, you just. I told you about my, my, my Winnebago RV adventures, that's going to come up very soon. Uh, this plan to plant a ar ar arbigan, oh no, no, a African tree grove in Brazil. Uh, I don't know if that's going to be an invasive species, though, however. 
Well, we'll let, we'll let the Exus figure that one out. It's their planet after all. I just live here. When that'll be an interesting adventure. More, uh, more dirt to extract. I have a doom that everywhere I volunteer in the world, I, I extract a little bit of dirt into a jar. Um, in this case, a, a Ziploc bag, double bag Ziploc bag, so it doesn't burst. And the game is to mudge all these, mudge us, uh, clump, clump all these bits of mud from all over the world into get into each other. And my gloves that were humbled that were humbled here in Calgary, I got from the city of Calgary, working there. Uh, for the City Links program, uh, the gloves went across the world. And that's that's being that's being uh, that's being humble, well, not humble, but adventurous, isn't it? Uh, I got a pair of work boots that I want to stomp all over the world. No, it'd be really funny if, um, say, for example, I volunteer in a union problem, a union state. Um, currently, in America, they're all one big state union in America state, but. And then I, I, I extract dirt from uh, the uh, volunteering from the southern states and volunteering from the union states and put <coughs> them together. Or Japan and China. That would be fucking funny as hell. Volunteering in China, Japan. I don't know, countries uh, who think of radioactive shit in the, in the... But, like I said, those are future adventures for future times. I, the idea is for me to make, make, make and I get lots of money so I can get a boat, uh, not a yacht, but a little sailing boat and then you go across the sea and become part of the yacht aid and go from there. <coughs> I've lots of projects on the go, lots of projects. And this camera, if it still lasts, we'll be able to see that. And I, and I, yeah, I shouldn't do what I've done that. You're trying to see a bigger. It's, it's like a Q-tip, but it takes out instead of putting in. Oh, also Q-tips, you're not supposed to use that either. Uh -huh. If anything, if you if you use a clone, just tell your doctor and he'll he'll flush it out. Um, if it gets too problematic. Uh, what else can I say? I have a internship coming on uh, Tuesday, on, on April the first. Uh, April the first. Uh, hopefully, God willing, I have uh, I'm able to donate blood. I uh, wear my Calgary Flames shirt and I'll be like, ha ha, April Fools. But it's getting kind of foggy down there on my lens, so... Thank you for watching my show! I'm going to see you guys again. There we go. So yeah, April 1st, uh, we're going to get... We, we're all of us, we, I'm going to take you guys to Edmonton, where I uh, go to the Red Cross. Who knows? Maybe at the U of Edmonton, uh, U of A, I go study there. <coughs> Ultimately speaking, we want to get out of Alberta. Alberta has been good to us. It's been a beautiful province of wealth and richness, but I don't know. Calgary lacks a soul. North Calgary is okay, but <coughs> somehow Calgary has lacked its soul for many, many years. Uh, anyways, it's really painful to live here. Me being a uh, a life force sensitive person. I want life forces that wants to be happy. You know, you can continue, you continue your 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 in, uh, emotional expression. You don't know if you're dead or not. But uh, and that's my dream. It's still, it's still whatever my life is comfortable. 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 Making people life forms sentient. Comfortable. Whichever form they may take. <coughs> and uh, sad news, I uh, went on CatholicDate.com, Catholic Match. Uh, that girl, the girl who seemed to be interested in us, she just not answering me. Perhaps she realizes that uh, I am not a suitable, at this current stage, that I'm, and I'm rapidly evolving out of. Uh, really I have the right intention this time, but for selfishism. For everybody, including myself, uh, I think that I think the spirits think that I'm mature, immature maybe, but still a bit more mature, and they kind of work with what they can have, so I can hurry up and mature, I guess. In her case, she's been very much immature. She's uh, texting me on the on the message on the dating site, saying she's thinking about me. She's thinking. Oh, 
she was swiping over one with me, and I told her about myself. And I know I'm not, you know, I think the good relationship should not have any secrets. I don't care. If the secret is bad, who cares? You, I do know that people overcome. And she hasn't realized that yet. She's young, so. <clears throat> Alright, so. That's just us in the next few weeks. Hopefully the passport comes in. Hopefully we can fuck off our plane and fuck off our plane and get the hell out of here. Alright, well I'm not going to rate this question there. I want to take it easy because I've been up and about recently. So, thanks for watching our show. We're going to be right back. This is day three of our... Uh, uh, I have to start my, my non-fap thing again. So, I have to start that up again. Ooh.